Okay, well, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, today we are going over Instagram. Woot. Woo Woo the gram. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. I have a. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> okay, do you guys see my screen? I'm going to keep it very bite sized. Um, do not want to confuse you guys. If there's any questions, please stop me. Um, I can talk about this for days. So I think Nick, help me slow down. Okay. All right. You've had too much coffee. Not today. <laughs> I think we're good. Okay. So um, I'm going to focus on Instagram. And then I really want to focus on stories because I feel stories are uh, just a really great. And then they use real estate on Instagram because they're up there. You see them. They're there for 24 hours, um, but they get a lot of engagement, right? And that's what we want. We want to stay top of mind. Um, so uh, there's a couple things to know about going into uh, real estate. I know for when you first open a Facebook account, you have a personal, and then you can, you know, open a business page for Instagram. You can get one account, you can make it a personal and you can make it a business account. And the cool thing about Instagram, Instagram is that you can go back and forth. So today I can have a business account. Tomorrow I can have a personal account um, and vice versa. Does that make sense? Um, so with a personal account, um, if you are just starting off on Instagram, trying to build your followers, I would recommend starting with a personal account because it gives you higher organic visibility. What that means is that if Instagram is going to try to reach everybody you know and put you um, you know, first, right? It's gonna to try to promote your profile, get you connected to as many people um, faster. And it is, so it's a really great way for being found. You're gonna be at the top of the search results as well. For business, uh, it, well, you can uh, run advertisement, which is one of the main things about having a business account is you can run ads. And the second is you get analytics. So you can see um, who, how many people your posts are reaching, how many likes, you know, all the uh, statistics behind your post and stories. With me so far? Yep. So um, absolutely. Roddy, I want to know, are you on Instagram right now? Do you have an nope, Instagram? No, account? this no. This is what intrigued me why I got on this one because it's definitely something I'm thinking about. Definitely. Awesome. Um, Ramona, are you on Instagram? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And do you know if you have a personal or a business account? I would say probably have a personal, but I okay. wouldn't swear to it. Okay. <laughs> but I do have an account. Okay, cool. So, uh, Alondra, yes. Alondra, I, I, I'm... I'm hearing this is kind of the mode now, as opposed to Facebook, that Instagram is more of the social media mode that as real estate agents, we want to be on or no, both of them. I would say you want to be on the platform that you enjoy the most and that your clients <laughs> and your sphere of influence ah, is on the most. Gotcha. So okay. You know, I'll add my personal opinion on this. Um, yes. Facebook is more uh, broad spectrum of everything, right? If I want to go find a recipe, I can find it easier on Facebook. If I want to go dive into the horrible world of politics, I could go find it on Facebook. If I want to do anything, and if you have noticed, I don't know how much you're on Facebook, it's bringing more of reels. You can now see Instagram reels on Facebook. It's just a little clunky. So I don't know if it's only because I can see that, but it's new. Um, Instagram to me is more open to everyone. I think in Facebook, you're limited at your audience. I know the hashtags work on Facebook. I know that there's a lot to do with that. I've just personally found anything I do on Instagram I have more opportunity to get people I'm not currently connected with. On Facebook, I really get to capitalize on those I'm already connected with. Yeah. So I also don't think you can just throw one of the two away. They're owned by the same company. They're really trying to make sure that both make a lot of money. So I feel that Facebook is when I've already captured you. This is where we're going to go together. Instagram's to help me capture more people that I don't have is my two cents. Thanks for your insight. I yeah, appreciate I that. I can it? share my daughter's opinion of uh, Instagram versus Facebook. She loves Instagram. 
Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Yeah, I'm an Instagram person too. I okay. don't have Facebook, but like I heard, like my mom does. Like I know a lot of people do have Facebook, and it's okay. You know, it's a good way to interact with people. But I, I, I need to make, and I have a business um, Instagram account, but, but I just kind of merged it together. I do personal and business now mm -hmm. in one. Ramona, and Ramona you what is your daughter? Yeah, what I was going to share is my daughter's opinion, and obviously she's uh, in the younger group here, but she seems to think that Instagram is like for the younger, mm -hmm. um, that is more popular with, and they look at Facebook as being more for the older generation. Whether it's true or not, that's kind of how she sees it. It's so. pretty true. I'm just yeah. not trying to gentrify anybody here. I can say, uh, <laughs> I think it's pretty accurate, but I will see that I've seen a lot of um, the old, I want to say older, but, um, you know, not so much young people are starting to get on Instagram. Right. Yeah. She was really surprised when I told her that I had an Instagram account. <laughs> she was like, woohoo. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. So let's move on. So for your um, Instagram profile, um, I think Nadia, you're the you said it uh, where you have kind of just one profile, half business, half um, personal. Well, I've converted my personal into a business Instagram. However, yeah. I was advised, which I think I made a mistake by archiving all my pictures. So now I only have like four pictures and it's real estate related but I think that was a mistake I need to somehow retrieve all my archive pictures yeah you can definitely retrieve those that's the great thing about archive is that they're they're not deleted so what I would say is you want to have a very healthy mix of both personal and business on your Instagram yeah so I was advised really badly <laughs> and I need to somehow find it and I don't even know how to look for it now yeah, so I have to Let's um, connect after the call and I can walk you through how to um, how to unarchive those. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Um, with all that being said, it, you still need certain things on your profile to make sure that, you know, people know who you are and what you do. So we want to start off with a great username, right? So um, the username is on this. This is my test account. It's Alondra, your realtor. So anytime someone wants to tag me on something, they'll have to do that at Alondra, your realtor. For example, at PMZ Real Estate, right? You mm -hmm. know who I am, you know what I do, right? So um, I always use the example, like if I had puppy lover 09, you're not gonna know who I am, right? So you wanna make sure it's clear to anyone that that's you, this is who you are. Um, this is your Instagram profile. Um, obviously you'll want to have your full name. So I have, my, this is my username up here. And then my full name, Alondra Garcia, you want to make sure that you have the word realtor, PMZ and your DRE number. That's just to stay compliant, right? Those are the things that you need, you know, anytime you advertise, uh, you want to have your location and something personal about you. So the way that I did it is I want to make sure it looks like all that information's on there, but it's easy, easily to read, easily to understand and it, you know, memorable. So that's why I have the emoji of the house for realtor. I have that little drop pin for location. And then um, I have, you know, that I'm a dog mom, a country music fan and a baker here, my phone number, my email address, and then I have a call to action, right? So my call to action is what's your home worth? And then I have the arrow. And then we have the link in bio. So mm -hmm. for those who don't know, um, I think the, one of the biggest things about Instagram and Facebook is Instagram, you get one link, right? It's in your, pro, it's in your um, bio. So if you're scrolling through it, you'll start seeing link in bio, link in bio, and start wondering like, what's this link in bio? You get one link, right? And it's in your bio. Um, if you advertise, obviously you can link to something else, uh, or if you have 10,000 followers or more, you can create a link in your stories. Um, but for most of us, we don't have 10,000 followers yet. Right. So as a country music fan, I know this is a sidebar. Are you going to Dustin Lynch tomorrow? Uh, no, but I was 
very close okay. to, to Dan and Shay tonight in Sacramento, but you know, it's on a Thursday night and I'm still thinking like, you know what, we should just go and just, you know, drink tons of coffee tomorrow morning, but yeah. <laughs> okay, Actually, now we can go back. Back to regularly scheduled programs. Yeah, but here's the thing, COVID. Alondra, you and I talk all the time. Mm -hmm. I would say at least, what, five times a week yeah. at this point? Mm -hmm. I didn't know you were a country music fan until you show me a fake bio that isn't that fake. So yeah. like, these are things like, this is why Instagram and this stuff is really important is I've spent the last three days with you. I talk to you almost every day. We talk five times a week and I didn't know you're that big of a country music fan. Oh, I love Nick, you. I thought the same exact thing. Right. I was going to say I was the like, same exact thing. I did not know. Oh, I love There we go. Music. Um, I haven't gone to a concert since before COVID, but usually at least four or five concerts a year. Um, but yeah, so, you know, that way you have something like a fun fact about me. And then you definitely want to have your professional um, headshot on your profile too, right? If it's a picture that's like you and someone else or you and your family, or it's very distant, they're going to have a hard time knowing if confirming that it's you, right? So I always like to let's not that. judge my profile when we get to it. I'm not oh. judging you. I'm <laughs> no, I know. I'm good idea. Cause I'll show uh, you the things I'm fixing. <laughs> um, and that's why we're here. Right. So yeah. usually the way that I like to think about it, let's say you're with a, um, with the, uh, let's say I'm with a friend, um, and they're looking to buy a home, right? And then I say, you know what? I have a really great uh, real estate agent, Nick. Why don't let's look him up, right? Let's say I'm not following him yet, and then I, you know, type in his name, and it's a picture, and I'm like, oh, I don't know if that's him. I'm not sure. You know, you don't want you want to make sure that those conversations aren't on there, right? You want to know, oh yeah, look, that's him. This is his uh, professional headshot. He's yep, that's he's in PMZ. He's in Modesto. Perfect. Let's see what he's um, doing. And then you can share that profile with that friend. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why you really want to, you want to make sure it's easy for the people who are looking for you to find you and also confirm that it's you, right? Because what if it, it's between you and some other profile and that profile has nothing to do with you and maybe it's complete polar opposites of who you are and what you do, right? Okay. Any questions about what your profile should have. Anything else? No. Okay, cool. So um, I really want to focus, like I said, on stories. So for those who don't know, who, or just can someone explain to me what a story is? Ramona? Basically like, um, like a little video or what, or picture. It's just basically something that's temporary. Like maybe it lasts, I think, what is it? Like 24 hours yes. or whatnot. And then it mm -hmm. goes away. So it's kind of similar to Snapchat how you um, load your videos and then it like just goes away. So that it's not like a post, it's temporary. Perfect. Yes, perfect. Yes. So uh, like Nadia said, it is a photo or a video uh, and it's uh, there for 24 hours and after 24 hours it disappears. So what I like to think about stories is kind of like in the moment and behind the scenes. Those are the type of posts that you can be um, adding to your stories. And then after 24 hours, they disappear. Um, and it's just a really fun way to be active with your people and show them what you're up to. And it has, doesn't have to live on your profile. doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and yeah. As you, examples, right? When we get a listing ready to go on the market, there's a lot of things that we do. So four or five stories, one showing it coming soon, the transformation of a carpet being moved to like new, changing kitchen counters, painting. And then when the listing goes live, your actual Instagram profile gets both the photo of the property active. And you can put that in your story as well for those who only follow stories. But this way, it, that one's longer, stickier, professionally done photograph before it hits the MLS all the fun stuff on the cell phone was the story. So we get to watch the process. We feel part of it. Yeah. If that makes sense. Definitely. Uh, maybe the sign has been installed and you drive by, you take a picture with the, you know, for sale sign. It's like, Hey, I have a new listing. Um, if for those who maybe are newer to the business, don't have a listing yet, or you're working with buyers, you know, anything that you just 
gently remind your people that you're a real estate agent without saying, hey, I'm a real estate agent, right? Um, so maybe it's Monday morning, you have your cup of coffee and you just create a quick little boomerang or a photo. It's like, okay, morning coffee, um, you know, we're off to a great start, you know, things that just or maybe you're at an office meeting and you take a, a, boom, a photo with someone in your office or, you know, of your manager talking, something that kind of just shows that you are mm -hmm. um, being active in real estate. And it doesn't- Michael did a great one uh, from the Dell Real team. Uh, he showed a house in Atwater that had an amazing movie theater. And so he went through the movie theater and then they've done it, I think three different times with different like Scarface soundtrack on one of them. Um, because you can add music, by the way, to your stories, which is mm -hmm. level two stuff we'll get to. Um, but it showed a movie theater in a house, like a full movie theater, not like, oh, they made their living room have a nice chair. Mm -hmm. It had like the full on double seating. It was really cool. And it was memorable. I know he sells a lot of real estate, obviously, but it was very memorable to see it. Exactly. And I've done, um, I've seen someone who has the, you know, the smart fridges with the whole computer built in the door. I've seen mm -hmm. someone just, you know, take a story and like play around with those. And like, I still remember that it's been probably a year or two since that happened. Right. Okay, so it's just have fun, be creative. Um, so I kind of want to show you one that I did. I think it was a year ago. It was National Taco Day. So um, the left is what I created in Canva. So it says we'll trade real estate advice for tacos. And then um, within the story on Instagram, I asked the question, who has the best tacos? Um, and then I think I can play this. So you see it has just a little bit of animation to catch people's attention. Does that make sense? Does everybody can yeah. play? Okay. It looks like Ramona's office wall there. Yeah, it does. Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. You All snuck right. in here. <laughs> <laughs> and now I want a taco. <laughs> too okay. early for a taco no such thing breakfast taco mm -hmm. maybe <laughs> potato taco like I, I'm out about okay okay um, so without further ado I can I want to go ahead and show you how I created this um so that you have you know something that you can try um so let me I'll share let's see Share my screen. So these are um, photos I've taken of PMZ9. And these are my phone. Okay, let's open up Instagram. Let's go to, okay, I'm going to use my test account. So we can't see it yet. Can't see it. Can't see my, my phone? Nope. Mm -mm. Um, Right here. Can you let me know when you start seeing it? Nothing? Nothing. I can see you, but not your screen. It's definitely trying, though, because it moved us to little tiny boxes on the right hand side of my screen. It's raining. It is. Yay. Can we see a nice screen now? Nope. Hmm? Not yet. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. So while she's figuring it out, who has the best tacos? <laughs> I'm serious about that. Serious about that? Tacos. Uh, uh... You mean crispy tacos or just tacos in general? 
I'm a soft taco fan. I yeah. think if I'm going to have a crispy taco, just give me the nachos. And that's personal <laughs> experience. Um, but I'm soft taco. I'm all about like, if I'm going street tacos, soft corn tortillas. If I'm going like restaurant style, I want big flour tortilla, but. Yeah. What's the one that um, Taco Dorado? Is it Dorado? Or maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. It's like that, like the wet taco. Like a, oh, I know what you're referring to. Like some type of like so it's so good. That's like the only one that I'll eat. <laughs> like I love that one. There is a taqueria in uh, Oakdale that is really good. I think it's called El Agave. That's oh. um, yeah, they're pretty tasty. There. El Agave, gotta try it. Have mm -hmm. you ever been to um, Grub? Like basically, it's it's that um, it's like a little oh, complex. Down, yeah, it's really downtown cool. Modesto on uh, Ninth Street. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bunch of food trucks. Yeah, that place is awesome. That's good food. La Morenita, tacos de reyes. Pork, pork tacos. Ah. And you're referring to the one, are you uh, Lamo? Because you're down in Turlock, you have Lamo, right? Or La Morenita? Yeah, which they originated from the original founder, but they're two different restaurants, actually. So There's are you saying Lamo series or and... La Morenita? Oh, no, La Morenita. Okay. Not Lamo. Okay. The one because like, we got La Morenita up here in Modesto. Right. Yeah, the That's one is said it with family Spanish and the same accent. originator. I don't speak Spanish and I never want to try. <laughs> do not see my I'm that guy. The it still says you're screen sharing. Do you yeah, want me to try Alondra? Sure. I don't know why it's not working. Oh, Anna, thank you for the advice. I'm on that. I'll try Broadway over by the abandoned hotel site. You got to make me host, though. Okay. Where? Can you guys see my phone? I can, yeah. All right, Instagram, boom. You want to walk us through on how to do this? Yeah, but I'm going to walk you how to do this, so it's going to be fun. Right. I'm going to text you the photo. While yeah, everyone watches the Peloton ad. Does anybody pay attention to ads more than anything else? Or is it that just me? I do. I like I watch ads, it all the time. Ads have really like just taken over. I pay attention more to ads than posts. That means I need to get better at posting. Did you text me? I am working on it right now. Oh, okay. Let's see that. Look, Homes by Parveen. There's one of ours. Great. She always has a wonderful banners at the bottom every single time. I also think Parveen does a really good job with her TikToks and her story. She likes to do quick boomerangs and she brings her kids in often. Yeah, she really does um, the stories. She does uh, boomer or her TikToks are really great too. And they're in, so like, am I going to make a story? Yes, yeah, so we're going to make a story. Did you save the photos into your camera? I just saved it, yeah. Okay, I sent you two. Oh, I sent go you, back to uh, it bunch of colors. Oh, the second one's still coming and you can see the three dots. Okay. So in the meantime, why don't you show people, or hang on, let's see. We want to show people your, uh, your link tree. Do I just save this too? Yeah. I'll, show, I'll tell you guys why in a second. Okay. Now what do you want me to do? Okay, so now we're going to open up the stories. As you can tell at the top, um, the top row, the circles, those are where the stories live. That was way too personal camera space right there. <laughs> like open it up and then go ahead and um, you see the bottom left corner where it has those colors that you just saved? Yep. All the baby girl. Up there, that's going to mm -hmm. bring up all your recent photos. Yep. So for this purpose, we're going to do the will trade for tacos. We'll trade real estate advice for tacos. 
Um, so now we have the image. Um, there's so many things that you can do. You can add music at the top. Um, I don't know if Nick can with your there. Uh, this is a lot easier to find music and add music on here. Um, I also have a lot saved. You do. This is a really yeah, I, um, way. I think it's easier to find music this way than for reels. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and click out of there. So then now do you, does everybody see that little um, kind of like a sticky note with a happy face? The, at the top. So this you is- You want me to go back to it? It was right here, I'm holding it. Can everyone see that little highlight over the D? Yes, okay. So um, what I did is I used the- GIF. Of tacos, so you wanna, I think was, yeah, search, search for on um, GIF, search for taco. <laughs> Let's look for a good one. They're all good. I'm totally posting one though right now because I do want tacos. This is my lunch. <laughs> and it's not Tuesday, so I'm not going to post Taco Tuesday. But let's go with this little happy one right here. Or so now, yeah, it's a good one. So just to the side. Right, it's a bigger. Boop. Perfect. I okay. used my fingers to move it and then make it bigger. I know you couldn't see it, but if you're looking at my camera there, you can see my hands move. Yeah, so you can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. I can turn it. Dancing taco. Okay. <laughs> if you hold and drag to the bottom, you can also get rid of it as well. Oh, you I don't. I was. A, you see the trash can? I don't want to do that. But you just um, drag it to there. It'll erase it. So um, we have our taco. So let's go ahead and go back to the smiley face. The smiley face. That. Yeah, sticky note, and let's click out of that menu. Cancel. So here we can add any location. We can mention anybody. Hashtag. Um, so what we want to do is do the questions. So then um, that's where I said, who has the best tacos, right? Or And then um, two o'clock. Um, if you notice the example that I shared, um, the white space was blue because I wanted to and customize, then, yeah wanted to customize it to our colors. Um, so there's two different things that you can do. Um, if you click that color wheel at the top, and this is just for branding purposes. Um, can you click and hold? Nope, just switches colors. Interesting. I'm holding and nothing changes. Interesting. Okay. I wonder, so you can um, put it in the middle. In the, are you gonna have it slanted that way? Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, you want me to give it here? I'll give it for the uh, ADDs and meticulousness in the world. There you go. That's me, perfectionist. Um, so then the only other thing that I think I did was add a hashtag so it can be found and it can, um, you know, people can find it. So if you go uh, into, you can type the A or you can do a hashtag, um, you can do either or. So then just do tacos. If you tap on tacos for me. The tacos hashtag? Yeah. So if you tap on it, it'll change colors tap it on again and then so you can pick the one that goes the best um, on there and then you can also add text we don't really need text on here but i want to show you what you how to add the text so do you want to click on the a's at the top uh, right corner so here tacos are life and so then you can move bigger <laughs> make it bigger you can make it smaller. Um, if you click on the A's at the bottom, it'll change the style. And then um, go ahead and click on like the, the one right next to it before, one before. Uh, the color wheel? That, that one's fine. Yeah, so click on the color wheel. 
So um, a good trick that I've used um, is to just have everything match and be, um, you know, on brand for coloring is click on the eye, the eyedropper and then you can hover over like the four, like the, the will trade the text mm -hmm. with your finger and you can make it that color. It did, it's up on top now. Oh, that, that's right. Sorry, I was looking at the, the other sort of thing. Does everybody <laughs> understand how he did that? Or does, do we need to go over it again? Did I go too fast? You can see my thumb over here. I'm, oh, I'm moving tacos. Um, I click on tacos for life. I'm holding it now. It highlighted it. I can make it any color. Let's make it a taco color. So you can okay. use any colors that are on, on that on that that story if you will um if you don't have any colors that are, are on that story that's why i sent you the second photo so if you want to go back to that sticker with the smiley face mm -hmm. and then click on scroll down can i have a photo one on here um it's Double photo, right? It's do do do. Oh. I don't. Okay. Do you think you do you have the most um up to date? Yeah, I have it on auto update. An auto update. That's interesting. So you should be able to add a um a photo to your story, and that's what I that those color blocks were. So you can just do the, um, the drop to those squares. Oops, I bumped that. Yeah. So what happens now is he is going to post this on his story. And then let's say I have a great taco recommendation. I can go so in. Do you want me to post forward? If Yeah, if you want to. Are you fine with posting? my story, right? Yeah. Share my story. Done. Yeah. So now I'm and then I'll click on my story right here so everyone can see it. Boom. And then um, anybody can go in there and type in their response. When it's now posted. In, when they type in their response, um, Nick will get a DM. What was a good place that someone had said? Good morning. Okay, let's just do... And then do you want to, I can show insights since you mentioned them. So I have it set up as a business professional page. And then I can show insights. And let me show you for the last 30 days, because I did a couple reels to test this out. You can see I made two quick reels. It wasn't a lot. Um, my accounts reached was up 2000%. And I almost reached the total follower count, follower count I have. And in just two reels. So when you post things on Instagram stories and reels, you actually hit a lot of people. It was obviously 2000% engagements, pretty good. Very good. And those are the reels. Is there volume on this if I play it? I think I showed them last um, week on, or last Tipsy Thursday. Okay. But you can play one. I'm not sure if it has volume or not. I don't hear anything. Did that have volume? No. Oh, it did in my ears really loud. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, does anybody have questions as far as posting the story or any other Instagram questions that we can answer? I have lots of questions, but I'll get to you later. <laughs> yeah, of course, again, um, you know, I do sit down with agents one on one and work with them on Facebook, on their Instagram. Um, these are just quick bite sized things that you can start implementing today. A really great um, way to use the, uh, the ask questions that we just use on that story is let's say that you have a couple minutes, um, maybe what you or you, there's something that you keep getting asked all the time by your clients and you just want to make sure that everybody knows or you just want everybody to know because it's good information. Um, 
is kind of um, type uh, do a post that says that says something like um, let me you know I have a couple minutes does anybody have real estate questions right you post that on your story um, you know but let's say nobody is answering questions on there what you could do is go in there and ask or answer your own question or use a different account to do that through and say you know whatever question let's say I want to ask, um, how's the market doing today, right? Or I want to answer that, or I have something to say about that specific, um, you know, just answer how the market's doing. I'll go in there and ask that question in that story. And then you can post that question and um, answer it either through video, through text on there. Um, but what it lets you do, it lets you communicate, you know, those things on your story. Does that make sense? So for example, and um, take this back to the taco, let's say there's a restaurant that I really want to promote. Um, you know, maybe it's like my cousin's restaurant or something. I will, um, and I just responded to Nick on there. Just, I typed in Errol Saul, I think. Um, so what he could do is post that as his next story. So it said, it shows that someone asked that question, but it doesn't say who it who asked it, right? So then that gives me an opening to talk about X, Y, Z and no, but no one's gonna be the wiser. Which is brilliant. Yeah, I thought that was, it's a really great way to like make it seem like you're getting that engagement. And then I, you know, once somebody sees that people are asking you questions and that you're answering them and they see the value in that, they're gonna start asking their own questions and engaging with your profile too. So does anyone have any other questions for us? Roddy, am I going to so, see you on Instagram soon? Yeah, Roddy's going to download Instagram today. <laughs> It'll take a few more lessons, but we're getting there. <laughs> Thank you. The best way is to fail forward by giving it a shot. Yeah. The beautiful thing about stories, they don't last long. I mean, I don't like that Facebook and Twitter remind me of some of my first posts 15 and 16 years ago when I jumped on those bandwagons, <laughs> but you grow by using. And that's yeah. the best thing I can say is just try it out, do the best you can and have fun with it. Cause if you don't enjoy it, don't, you won't do it anymore. So try to have some fun. Definitely. It's very fun in the moment. Um, and it does not have to be perfect. It goes away 24 hours. It's the best thing that you can do to get more engagement and more awareness to your profile. Absolutely. Thanks guys. All right. Well, thanks for joining you guys. us. Guys we'll see awesome. you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, you guys have a great week and weekend. <laughs> All right. After the week we've had. Seriously. We'll see you next Tipsy Thursday. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.